Hello friends, today we are going to learn science standard 7. The Living World Adaptation and Classification Part 8 Adaptation for blending with the surroundings We cannot easily spot colorful butterflies, lizards and grasshoppers. They get camouflaged amidst grasses, parts of plants like stem, leaves, flowers, etc. That is because their colors blend with those of their surroundings. Changes that take place in the various organs and life process of organisms that enables them to live, feed, reproduce to perpetuate themselves and protect themselves from their enemies in specific surroundings depending upon the habitat and its geographical conditions are called adaptations. Always remember Adaptation is not a sudden process. It is gradual and continuous. Difference in the structures and appearance of present-day animals and animals of thousands of years ago are the adaptation that occurred according to prevailing conditions. It is our duty to conserve this diversity. Darwin's Theory of Evolution Charles Darwin, a biologist, studied numerous types of plants and animals and suggested that only those organisms are likely to survive which can best adapt themselves to a changing environment. This is called the theory of survival of the fittest. This is Darwin's first principle. If an organism is born with a new beneficial characteristic and is able to survive, this change is preserved in the next generation. This is Darwin's second principle and is called the theory of natural selection. Classification of living organisms Let's recall Why are living things classified? Which are the criteria used for classification of plants and animals? It is difficult to study and remember all the organisms in this diverse living world at the same time. Classification helps in this respect. Different scientists have used different criteria and independently classified plants and animals. A hierarchy is formed in the classification that starts with kingdom animalia of our kingdom planta. Further groups and subgroups are formed depending upon basic similarity and differences. This is called the hierarchy of classification. For more videos, visit us on YouTube and Facebook. Link is given in description. Thank you.